Hello, and welcome to another broadcast with Gion. Watching this program, you are going to be inspired, challenged, and enlightened. Now, let me introduce to you our host, Gion. I know that it is very difficult to make certain decisions, right? I know there are decisions that are kind of simple, you know, like uh, you have two options to eat something in your home uh, and you say, mm, no, and you pick one, right? There are simple decisions in life, but there are all the other decisions that are not easy, right? Like uh, choosing your spouse or choosing your career or choosing if you take a job offer somewhere else in a different town where you live, other state, other country. There are many decisions that are very difficult to take in life. And the thing is, there are many others which happen on a daily basis that are not too difficult to make. But the problem is, if you are afraid of making decisions, you already made a decision. And the decision that you made is that you choose to be afraid. Do you understand that? When you are frightened to make decisions, you already made a decision. You already have in your mind this idea, I am afraid. And if you are afraid, you will be afraid forever. You know, the problem is decisions are going to bring results. And that is why you hesitate to make decisions. But the thing is nobody in the world, nobody in this life will make 100% accurate decisions ever. That doesn't exist. That's perfection. Only the good Lord, God Almighty, is the only one that can make 100% accurate, accurate decisions. But the rest of us here on earth, we don't. We are going to make mistakes. So what? <laughs> the thing is, you have to be free of this fear and say, I'm going to make a decision. And then you will already in the right path. Why? Because you already removed the fear to make decisions. And then you go to the next thing, which is what? Analyze what could be the consequence of this path or this path or this path. You see, but you are not afraid. You just say, I want to think, what happens if I choose this? And that makes you rational. You know, we say that we are rational animals. That makes the difference between us and birds or us and fish. <laughs> but to what degree are we rational? Sometimes we are so irrational that we make the most weird decisions. You know, it doesn't make any sense what we decide. <laughs> Have you thought about that? In order to make a decision, if you don't know what's the right path, you have to learn from others. So ask advice from somebody else that you know is a person with experience and more knowledge. And you have people around you, your family, most of the time elderly are wise, not because they are super intelligent. It's just because they are old. They already saw that many times in their lives. So you can reach out to the elderly around neighbors and just ask for opinion. How simple is that? But the thing is, you are not afraid. You understand that? That's why I'm telling you, when you remove fear from your life and you just say, well, whatever happens, I'm going to just accept is the consequence of my decision. But then you talk to somebody and that, my friend, is going to take you to a wonderful path. Is the path of accountability, is the path of reasoning. Decisions, decisions. Ask someone that you trust about whatever is the thing that you need to decide. Together evaluate the alternatives and try to see what will be the consequences on each path. Some people are troubled today. Perhaps you are one of those. If you are one of those that are in trouble, 
if you say to me, I want to tell you what is my situation, and you tell me your situation and how troubled you are, majority of the time, my friend, I will say, well, that is expected. And why is that? It's because the decisions you were making through your life. Isn't it that true? Think about it. Anything that we do is going to bring a consequence. So if you are tired of problems that you experience, maybe that is the indication to you that it's time for a change in the game. <laughs> Becoming accountable, receiving advice, listening, paying attention. Decisions, decisions. You are not alone, my friend. The Lord God is with you, and there are people around you that will help you. All that requires just humility. You can do it. By Giancarlo Vitutoro. I know you have suffered, but what if you would have never met your mom because she died giving birth to you? That's the beginning of Simon's story. Then Simon's father died when he was only 15 years old. He was sent to a foster home where he was bullied, humiliated, and there was no one to protect him. But Simon decided to find a way to get his revenge by studying and becoming good at sports. He won a scholarship, and soon he started his own business, Simon Yardwork. Mean people were envious of his success, but one day, Simon met and fell in love with Jackie. They were happy until the FBI arrested Simon due to clues that incriminated him with several murdered people. Will Simon end up in prison? Don't miss the outcome of this story, The Best Revenge, the musical that will inspire everyone to pay good for evil. Go to mygiancarlo.com to purchase The Best Revenge on audio and video. Hey, 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 hey. That's all, that's all, that's all, folks. <laughs> Time to go home. <laughs> Ciao.